Hi guys, so in this video, we're gonna continue talking about surface area, but I'm gonna break down the net of the two kinds of pyramids that we've been looking at and kind of label the different parts so you can see how we would find the surface area or the area of the shaped surface um, of a pyramid. So with pyramids, we've had two different kinds. We've had a triangular pyramid and we've had a square-based pyramid. So when you have something that's a pyramid shape, you can kind of think about if we took that top point of the pyramid and if we kind of like popped it open and we flattened those sides, if you think about like the Egyptian pyramids, if we flattened all those sides and kind of put them towards the ground, put all those spaces on the ground, um, that's kind of what the net of a pyramid would look like. So for a triangular prism, if we pop open the sides and lay all the sides down on the ground, triangular pyramid, the net is going to look something like this. So it's kind of like a triangle with other triangles inscribed. Sorry, this triangle looks a little weird. Um, and with a square based pyramid, it's the same thing, except we should have four triangles because there's like four sides or four faces on the side of a pyramid. And all of these triangles should be equivalent to each other. They should all be the same size, and stuff like that. So when we find the surface area, of a pyramid, we have to find the area of the base shape. So for this one, we're gonna have to do our length times width to find the area of this uh, square. Um, with this triangle, we're gonna have to do our base times the height to find the area of this triangle. And then with all of our faces, all of our faces are triangles. So we're gonna do our base times height for all of them, right? Base times height and take half for each triangle height base and then it's the same thing over here our height our base our height our base and so forth so <clears throat> we would just find the area of each of these triangles they should all be the same so <clears throat> we can find the area of each of them and then just multiply it by four in this case these should all be the same the lateral surface area should be the same so you could find the area of one of these and then multiply it by three um, this area of the if we're looking at a triangular pyramid this area over here of the faces um, may not necessarily be the same area as the base shape of the triangle. The triangle base shape might be different than the other one. So don't assume that you can just multiply it by four because that's not necessarily always the case. The base shape might not be an equivalent triangle to the sides. So again, all we have to do when we find the surface area is we can break down our shape so we can see all the surfaces that are there. Um, and we add the area of all the faces. Um, and when we talk about the surface area, we're also gonna include, sometimes people forget, like we wanna include the bottom of a shape. So if I have something like sitting like, like this, okay? I wanna make sure I include my front, my like bottom of my shape, my two sides, the top part over here, but also the side that's like touching the surface. So like I have this side over here that is like sitting on the table, like that's still a surface technically, even though it's like level and set it on my table, um, we include that as a surface. So we add that as part of the surface area. Um, when you get into more like application-based math, sometimes um, the question will be like, what's the visible surface area? So that's the surface area of all the things that are visible, like not the bottom part, like whatever's touching the ground. Um, but for the sake of our particular surface area, we're just gonna pretend like all of our objects are floating so we can see all of their surfaces and we're gonna add up all the areas of their surfaces to find the total surface area. Uh, you should go back in this video um, if you have extra time and count how many times I use the word surface, throw it in the comments below. I would love to know. Okay, go ahead and get forth practicing surface area and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.